Cycle five, week two, day three, heavy squats, heavy bench press for doubles. Top set squat 380, top set bench press 280. I'm gonna pat my pre-workout that is riding in my crotch and then I'm gonna post this workout footage. Stay tuned, hoping for some big numbers tonight. My back's still a little sore from those rag pulls. It was insane. Uh, but uh, stay tuned, workout footage headed your way. Alright guys, instead of uh, doing the usual music, I thought I would do a little bit of uh, commentary. This is my first, uh, this is actually the second set for squats. This was uh, 360 for a double. Uh, I've really been working on trying to get depth down by working on uh, butterflying my knees out. I will show you guys what I'm talking about on a different uh, video. Moving on to the top set of 380, which was a PR for me. Uh, these felt really good. I was really questioning the depth, but I actually went through and slowed down the video um, when I recorded it myself. You can't see it here unless you slow it down on YouTube, but they were both to depth, so I was really happy about that. I still think I need to work on getting my knees a little bit wider to achieve some depth, and I have something coming that should be helping me achieve that here next week. Uh, and now moving on to competition bench. I did record all three working sets. This is 255 for a double, uh, and that is my spotter and training partner in the background there. That's a bone marrow. Um, excellent liftoff partner, uh, except for when I fucked up on the last uh, set here of bench press. Moving on, that was 255 previously. This is now 270 pounds. I uh, got a little stuck on the second rep. I was trying to work on making sure that my the bar touched a little bit lower on my chest. I don't think I was going quite low enough. Um, but I was still pretty happy with it, especially looking at the bar speed now. Uh, and then here is the last set. This was supposed to be 280 for a double. Uh, there was a little bit of miscommunication, which you're going to talk about later uh, on the handout. But I left this in the video so that you guys can see exactly how fast 280 flew up on the first rep. And I think I paused a little bit too long at the top. I should have just taken a deep breath and then gone for another one. Uh, and I was really trying to work on leg drive, but I had some issues um, just because squats were freaking had exhausted me. My back was still sore from rack pulls. But uh, there you go. Can't always get your sets. And that happens. Post workout in the car, as usual, heading back home. Well, as you can tell from the footage, um, it was a half and half kind of night again. Um, and with the heavier weights, I feel like I'm just spending more and more time in the gym. I did not even get the overhead press. I'm going to have to move that over to. Um, GPP day for tomorrow. So, speaking of that, I did successfully complete 380 squats. I am fairly certain those were to depth. The first one for sure was definitely at parallel. The second one, as I scrolled through in slow motion, it did look like the hip crease did go below parallel. So I was happy about that. It was heavy as hell. Did one back offset with 370. Uh, my head about popped off. And then I don't know what the deal was with the bench press. I left the fail for 280 in there because if you go back and take a look, look at how fucking fast that first rep was off my chest. It just exploded off there. I was really proud about that. I think I could have had to, my um, spotter and I, there was a little bit of like nonverbal miscommunication. Uh, my hand placement was a little off. I tried to adjust it right as it came out of the rack and uh, I ended up pushing the bar up myself a little bit more than I needed to. Uh, and I think I paused a little too long. Um, when I was actually at the top going into set number, uh, not set number two, rep number two. Um, so I didn't get it for two, which is okay. Uh, it's gonna happen and it would be great to see, you know, what would happen if I was fresh. Uh, technically we weren't planning on doing these lifts until tomorrow, uh, but the hell with it. We did it today and I'm kind of glad, got that squat out of the way. Back is really hurting right now. Uh, I'm not like, holy shit up, something's fucked up, but just super sore. Um, I really wanted that 280. I took it for a second attempt, and the first rep down was much more sloppy this time. I, my body was like, what are you trying to do, bro? This is, we've had enough for tonight. So that happens. We'll kind of have to see what go, happens going into week three. If I got 280 times two today, I think I was supposed to take 295 for a single. So that would have brought me within five uh, pounds of um, uh, my goal for a 300 pound bench press. Now, usually the funny thing that happens is I feel like I perform really well in week one, 
Week two is where I hit some sticking points, and then week three is when I blow past everything. Because uh, what happened week three in cycle four is I was supposed to take uh, 285 for a single, and I think I ended up taking 290, uh, just kind of out of the blue. Um, and it went up just fine. So maybe the same thing will happen uh, for this week three. You never know. Um, just kind of have to feel it out and just see what the weights feel like. Now, technically, because I only got 280 for one when I was supposed to get two, I should be dropping the weight. It'll probably tell me to take 285 or 290 next week. So I'm just going to have to kind of see what the numbers uh, look like and set it up from there. Uh, I just I don't know if it was from back soreness, if it was from the pre-workout, which sucked. Uh, it kicked in at the beginning and then it just faded right away. So that kind of blue, uh, but maybe I'll get to sleep tonight. Um, my legs were gone after squats. A lot of my leg drive, I think, was robbed from that. And uh, just, I was just exhausted. I think I saw a lot of fatigue from rack pulls. Not trying to make any excuses, but it would have been interesting to see what it would have been like going in fresh. Speaking of going in fresh, should be doing that on Saturday for the deadlift. Uh, and if I still feel like my back is a little sore, I might push that into Sunday. So we will see what happens. Stay tuned for more uh, workout footage. Uh, this is DJ from TooTallPowerlifting.com. Uh, tell everybody to have a good night.